let's uh try our first test flight. Well, technically second test flight. I got it off the ground a little bit last night, but I was mainly checking to make sure all the props and stuff were going to be spinning the right way. Oh. Guess it'd help if we uh, turn on the controller. I have to reset it. Also, we'll see how this camera works out. This is the uh, first time I've used this. This is actually the Turnigy action cam that is going to be on the gimbal for this. I pulled the gimbal off last night because uh, uh, the little bit of testing I did, uh, I was having weight issues, which I know it can lift the weight, but uh, just to make it easier for me to learn to fly this one, because this one's way heavier than anything I've flown before. Uh, I went ahead and pulled that off because it makes it really front heavy and uh, I didn't want to bother with trying to balance it better. So, I don't know if it's going to pick up GPS signal. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we did get GPS inside. So, let's see what happens. This is not very much space for such a large, large uh, quad. Oh. We got two, that's three GPS, or satellites, should be alright, I mean we're not, all we're really trying to do is get it to lift off, so hopefully this camera turns out well, because like I said, I've never used this, I've got it strapped to my head, we'll see what happens, alright, uh, we want... So I got the motors to where uh, I turned off the intelligent motor cutoff because we are trying to fly this inside so I want it to be able to instantly flip off the motors rather than uh, having to disarm it. So we'll see what happens. Okay so last night whenever I first turned it on uh, I let it run for like this for a little while and uh, I gave it just a little bit of throttle and it instantly flipped over <laughs> upside down which everything I said online means that uh, or saw online means that uh, one of the props was spinning the wrong way which it wasn't what actually happened was uh, one of them came loose I didn't have them tightened down enough so one prop actually wasn't spinning nearly as much as it should so it flipped over and then uh, I tried it again without realizing that was what the problem was after I checked all of them to make sure they were spinning the right way. I tried it again and the prop actually flew off. It was sitting still. It didn't move but I heard a think and uh, so I had turned it down and about a second later the prop landed right next to my foot. So the prop flew up in the air. Luckily I was able to find the, uh, the little nut that holds the prop on. Uh, but anyway, no, sissy. I told you you got to stand behind me, baby girl. Come here. Sissy, come here. And that's why I turned off the uh, intelligent motor cutoff. Because with intelligent motor cutoff, it uh, when you drop it down, it doesn't instantly turn off the motors. It uh, revs them down to 10% and lets them idle uh, for a few seconds. So, for this case, we're not flying very high. So, uh just shutting off the motors is perfectly fine let's see if I can let's try GPS hold y'all need to come back over here though come on you too sissy 
You need to stay behind me. We definitely don't have, uh, that's funny, we don't have the space we need to really do anything. Really all I'm trying to do is get it a couple inches off the ground, but uh, it moves so much I don't have time to start correcting it while I'm still trying to get it up without making it fly through the ceiling. So uh, we'll try a couple more times and then we'll probably take it outside. That's fun. So what I'd like to be able to do is take it outside where I got more room and uh, just get a few inches off the ground and let it hover around. The only problem is it keeps getting the legs to get caught in the grass really bad. So it, it, it gets caught and then it wants to tilt, you know, whichever way. And uh, I really don't want to tear up these props. These weren't cheap props. I really should have gotten cheap props to begin with. Do I think so? Do you think so? Oh yeah? Well, we're going to turn this off and take it outside uh, and see what we can do. So, see you all in a little bit.